You came for the amulet? Take it then. What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the final livestream of Oblivion's main quest. Let me move OBS out of the way so I can see what is going on. So last episode guys, we got the Great Sigil Stone, which is this giant red ball thing here. We can actually activate this. Nothing happens. This is the Great Well Card Stone that we got the episode before. And now we have all of the stuffs we need to actually open the um, the realm of oblivion, which is called Paradise, where Mankar, Mankar Cameron is chilling out with his boys. So we've got to open this, but before we do that, this episode, I'm actually going to prepare myself and repair my sword so it doesn't break before we go through into oblivion, because that would be a bad idea. That's what I did wrong last time, and we're not going to do the same thing again. I almost did, but then someone actually reminded me on Discord, and I was like, this is the wrong way to go. 
I was like, okay, bro, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm gonna go repair my sword right now at the start of the stream. On your victory, sir. Right, let's uh, have a look at the map and quickly... You know what, we always go to Bruma. Let's have a look at Shaden Hall. I can't even remember where the armor is at Shaden Hall, but we will find it. You know, I haven't finished this game, I don't think, in about four or five years. So this is going to be fun. Stop. Oh! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. I'm like trying to save the world here, bro. Do you know what? We can actually afford to pay the gold. Resist arrest. Hmm. I don't want to lose my skills right before this final battle, so I think I'm going to pay the gold. That's too bad. I okay. Okay, right. How much did I lose? Oh, God. I've got 1,600 gold. Well, that's kind of annoying, but I should be able to repair my stuff, so no worries, man. From zero to hero. <laughs> so many people have been going back and replaying Oblivion. It's such a great game, man. I love it, guys. I'm glad you're all so motivated for this stream. So, I can't remember where the armor is. I know the general goods store is on the corner here. I think it's just down this street on the right. That's what my childhood memories tell me. Thanks for asking. I saw Valis Odio at Nobody the cares. again today. Is this it? Hasn't been the same since his Northern good no, that's the That's terrible. Uh, no, it's not here. Ah uh, yes it is. It is down this street. I knew it. No one said that's a bookshop. No ESO, they don't sell armor. Where is the armory? Okay, one sec. I've got an idea. Let's go on the general map. Uh, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to know where it is by just hovering over these, am I? Oh, fire and steel, of course. It was on the corner. Damn it. I am going to do a Skyrim live stream after I finish the quest line. So this is the last Oblivion one for a while, at least. Unless you guys are really that pumped for me to stream more Oblivion. But I kind of want to stream the Companions quest line in Skyrim next. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm Rashida. Oh my god, you're a girl. I'm so sorry. What I did not mean I to in? insult you. Do you know what? Before we do anything, I'll repair my stuff. Uh, repair. For the right price. Repair a Reno, my sir... Look, I named this sword on the first stream. Sir Spankathorn's sword. And it has done us very well. Right, now before we buy repair our armor, around. let's quickly have a look what she has. Oh, one second. Fortify armor, five points on self, fortify strength. That's really good, but it costs 6,800 gold. So I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I cannot afford this. Instead, let's see if we can sell her anything that I don't need. Uh, silver short sword, six damage, mace of arrogance. To be honest, no, we could actually use this later on, potentially. And I might keep the bow just for some banter. The Bow of Numbing. Sounds a bit kinky. Let's sell this for 10 gold. And then we will repair the rest Thank of our stuff. And then we'll finally open this gate to oblivion. Because I'm bored of waiting. Right, repair this please. Just repair all of my stuff. I can't believe I've done this all in Legion armor. I mean, we got this armor at Kavach. And it served us so well. Right, let's go ahead and fast travel back to Cloud Ruler Temple. How are you all today, guys? Sorry I'm ignoring the chat a bit right now. Oh, yeah, I, this is the first time I've streamed late enough for all you guys in America to actually watch the stream. So, I'm so glad you appreciate that, man. Please lick Merun's Dagon when you see him. Don't worry, I shall. Look at how serene this setting is. It's like the sunrise or sunset, I don't know. Any tips for a fun Fallout 4 Let's Play? Um, I would say go on survival difficulty, come up with a really strange build that you've never really done before, and then just have a go at the game. Makes it a lot more interesting. Stream the Crusaders quest. Oh, I haven't actually done that in a very long time. Um, okay, let's talk to Martin and get him to open this portal. Martin's secretly like a Daedric summoner. I have everything in place for the ritual. Ah. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. 
I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Are you ready, Martin? So this is basically a suicide mission. That's what he's telling me. He's like, if you don't kill Manka, you're never coming back. Uh, open the portal, bro. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. <laughs> Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Dun, 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 dun. Brace yourself. Now, oh, he's still angry at me from when I hit him in the fight. Did you see his, like, grimace when he looked at me? Oh, this bit's awesome, by the way, guys. Look. All these... Oh, wow. Look, magical effects and stuff. Oh, lots of... Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, let's, let's go and talk to Martin again. I'm having second ideas, Martin. Maybe you should go first. We have only one chance at this. Use the portal to Cameron's paradise before it closes again. How funny would it be if I was just like, nah. Look how angry he is. <laughs> Look at it. Look at his face. <laughs> we have only one chance at this. He's so angry. Stop it, Martin. I'm saving the world for you, sir. So there's actually a really, really interesting piece of lore that I'll tell you guys about once we actually meet Mankar. Because, okay, well, I'll tell you guys later. It's 10.30 in Greece. Yeah, you guys are in the EU are fine. It's just people in America watching. Wee! I love the sound effect when you go through the Oblivion Gates. Here we go. We're in paradise. I have arrived in Cameron's paradise. The portal closed behind me. I must find Mankar Cameron, kill him, and recover the Amulet of the Kings. It's literally been my objective for the whole game. So guys, what do you reckon? Should we just run around and explore, or...? Look at this view. So, oh. the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares here of all oh. places in the paradise that I created. Look now for my paradise. I'm looking. He just stopped speaking. <laughs> Well, apparently didn't have anything else to say, despite the uh, captions at the bottom there. So you are meant to follow the path, and you can. There's not really anything else to explore around here. I don't recall there being any, like, hidden loot off the beaten path. Look at that guy. Is that like a fire action off in the distance there? Not looking forward to fighting that. I do think it's quite cool how, like, I mean, if you were going to own your own plane of oblivion, would you not create your own paradise? I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Like, come on, guys. If you owned your own plane of oblivion, like, what would you do? What kind of fantasy world or land would you make? I definitely wouldn't make anything like Cold Harbor, that's for sure. That's Behold the savage garden, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. Ow, stop that at once, sir. the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayal, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. What a legend. I mean, the guy, he's pretty full of himself, isn't he? Jesus Christ, where the hell was that from? Oh, great, another frost astronaut. Not a frost astronaut, a fire astronaut, sorry. Get wrecked. Man, these things look so much better in Skyrim, don't they? I didn't know that they even assaulted you. That's strange. Get out of here. Oh my god, I'm being raped. Stop. Stop that. Let me actually attack you back, please. Get wrecked. I feel like I should turn up my difficulty a bit. Max B, thank you very much for the donation. Guys, when you donate, you'll notice... Well, hopefully if it's working this time. Let me just check if it is working. It is working. So there is that health bar at the top left. Basically, whenever someone donates, the health goes down. Um, I think it's like $1 is like 100 damage. And it's got 10,000 health. Uh, or is it 10,000 health? Sorry. And um, the person who kills it becomes the boss. And then the next person who kills them becomes the next boss. But it increases in health each time. So it's just like a fun sort of thing I thought I would try out. I'm now actually partnered with uh, Streamlabs, which is pretty fun. So why am I looking at the map here? Who is this guy? 
I forgot about these people. These are like the savages that just live in the world of paradise. Let's save the game here. I don't know if we can talk to this person. I can't remember. Ascended Immortal. So you found your way to Gaiar Alata at last. Don't we have enough troubles here without you adding to them? Leave us alone. Your quarrel is with Mankar Cameron, not us poor fools. Sel Shappy. I can't say your name. I'm so sorry. But thank you for the donation. I will be doing some more Oblivion videos. I was actually thinking of doing some fun quest walkthroughs. Because there's quite a few cool hidden items and quests in the game that are pretty awesome. If you are, lots of you guys seem to be doing like plays for, playthroughs of it. So it'd be quite cool to do that. Okay, let's ask him about the Savage Garden, which is apparently where we are. I'm a savage. Man, Lydia would love this place. Everyone here died in the Master's service. As the Master promised, we are now immortal, like the Deidre. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the Garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn and the cycle begins again. No one has yet found a way to leave the Garden, except those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Ethan, thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it, man. Rock on. So, we need the bands of the Chosen. So we can enter the Forbidden Grotto. <laughs> the only way out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter the Forbidden Grotto. But they never return. So we don't know what fate awaits them. Man. <laughs> savage. Literally, the Savage Garden. Gaia Alata. I think that's the throne where Manka or Cameron sits. But let's find out. Animal for life. Thank you for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Gaiar Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Cameron's palace, Karaka Gaialor. Man, beneath these words the mountain awesome. lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. Okay, so bands of the chosen, that's what we need to get into the Forbidden Grotto. Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the grotto ever returns. Okay, well, nothing new there. So? I wonder if we can, like... Oh, we can't actually... Oh, we can. We can talk to... Don't make me laugh. Oh, he did not like that at all. I'm not buying He that. didn't like that either. That's whatever you want. I should just quit while I'm ahead. Let's try this one more time, okay? We'll go for... This, Blob. this. That's pretty good. Uh, that I and that. Whatever you want. Okay, no, I'm not going to bother. All right, I, guess. I just thought maybe he had more dialogue Please. if we talked to him, he could help us out. Um, okay, so this is a good viewing point. There's a bridge over there, and there is some somewhere else we can go that way as well. I want to go and discover what this bridge is. TBH. Or is that the way I came? I can have a quick look. It is the way I came. Is it? One sec. Yes, it is. Okay, we need to go this way. Back to the path. Haha! <laughs> Don B says, Yes, so I just shaved my beard. Then I saw yours and immediately regretted my decision. Oh my god, is he chasing a deer? Don't worry, deer. I've got your back. Fire Atronach, please stop punching me in the face. I mean, come on now, that's not really going to work, is it? Fire Salts. Easy. Lord Sweet Roll, I appreciate your name. Can I do the Mage's Guild? That would be fun. I feel like I should make a new character for the Mage's Guild, though, until I figure out what character that's going to be. Maybe you guys could come up with a character as, like, a competition. That would be cool. And then I could play that character through the Mage's Guild. <gasps> Who is this? He's walking towards me. He's definitely noticed me. He wants to have a conversation, I think. Let's save the game here. Okay. I don't know if I like you, sir. At least he really wants to have a conversation with me. Dun, 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 dun. Look at his eyes. Look at his face. You destroyed Goodness. the Sigil Tower at Ganona. 
My kin, say you fought well. You have a lot of pixels on your face, not? I've never heard of it. That was the great tower we destroyed to get the Grand Sigil Stone. To be honest, we killed all his friends, so I'm not so sure how they told him that we fought well. But I'm glad that this Daedra, this Daedra has honor. I have nothing to say to you. I seek my Cavern. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. <laughs> Savage. In the Savage Gardens. What do you want then, brah? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Canona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? <laughs> That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens if I, I offer him service. If I battle him, I assume I can just get the keys to the Forbidden Grotto from his corpse. I don't know. What happens if I offer him service? Does he send me on a quest? Is there some new interesting stuff here? I have some questions. You are impertinent, mortal. Screw you! I did not offer to answer questions. Shut up. Oh, okay. I choose service. I want to see what he says. An intriguing choice. And I have a task in mind that will test your wit and your loyalty. The rabble of the Savage Garden have imprisoned the Zivili Anaxes. Oh, interesting. I consider his humiliation a fitting punishment. However, his shame attaches to me, and though the matter is too small for my attention, it is not too small for one of my servants. Free Zephali Anaxes, and I shall reward you with the key to the Forbidden Grotto, the Bands of the Chosen. The Bands of the Chosen. Okay, guys, I will make you a deal, because loads of people are saying kill him, but I also want to free the Zephalala. And then we'll come back and kill him anyway. And that'll be funner, right? We'll just kill everyone. Manka Cameron's chattels, the unmortals that swarm here in the Savage Garden, their proper role is to test themselves in unceasing combat. Sounds awesome. But being no true immortals, they are without honor or courage and shy from battle. However, by some trick, they trapped one of my agents, the Zivili Anaxes, in a cave. How they rude. show initiative, and Anaxes doubtless deserves humiliation. But I cannot permit this to continue. Do me this service of freeing Anaxes, and I will reward you with the bands of the Chosen and passage to the Forbidden Grotto. The Forbidden Grotto. Okay, bro. What's inside there? The one path from the Savage Garden is through the Forbidden Grotto. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen are allowed to leave the Garden. Okay, we know that already. Bands of the Chosen. Yes, and we need them to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Cool. Mankar Cameron's chattels trapped the Zivili Anaxes in a cave. Free Anaxes. Okay, okay, great, great. We get it, we get it. Best friends. Okay, I'm going to kill this guy later, but for now, let's have a look at this quest you just gave us. I message Remora. I mean, what quest ever starts like that? I love it. Right, where the fuck does it want us to go? It wants us to go down this path, guys. Let's put my sword away. How do I put my sword away? I can't remember. There we go. F. I'm so used to playing on controller. This feels weird. Playing on keyboard. I like to like chill out and relax and sit back with my controller. Whoa. Somebody donated. What? Twisted Gold donated $100. Thank you so much, man. That is the biggest donation I've ever got. Oh my god. Thank you. 
That's crazy. I'm really surprised. I think you just defeated the boss, actually. What's that? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yes! That means you're the new boss, man. Congrats, brah. So you are up there, out of the boss, until someone kills you. Get wrecked, mate. So I should probably actually follow this, this um, quest marker until I come across wherever this guy is trapped. You know, I didn't think I ever did this one when I was like, when I played this when I was a kid. Like, oh, one sec. Where is it telling me to go? Why is the quest marker on top of me? Is he under this cave? Is he hiding under here? Hello? Yes! The door to the lair of Anax. Sounds good. Oh, I can see something ahead. I'm just going to minimize OBS so I can... <laughs> one second. What did that chat say? The Forbidden Grotto. <laughs> That sounds like a maid's house that would would be found in a region owned by orcs. I thought that was going to be something a bit more. I have a new Dramora and you know him. It's the famous adoring fan. I know, man. So many donations in this one street. It's down. incredible. Ah. Oh. There are some new arrivals here that were caught in the fall of the great gate. Why are they all doing this with their hands? Lord Dagon will soon be able to. Cross okay, I'm going to interrupt here. Are you here to end this nightmare? And free us all from the savage guard. Yes. He's trapped at the back of the cave. Oh, of course he's at the back it of the cave. It took us weeks to prepare the trap, and he killed us many times before we finally succeeded. Oh, because they're immortal. The lesser creatures of the Eternal Garden still torment us. But Anaxes was the worst. He toyed with us, prolonging our deaths for his pleasure. You must not release him for pity's sake. Lydia donates $50. I miss you a car. <laughs> I like how you actually named yourself Lydia for that donation. You're awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh my god. Lydia misses me. <laughs> what do you want? Been playing Oblivion for too long. Okay, I, these guys, are they going to help me or not? I mean, they literally just have, they're naked. And this lady doesn't even have a weapon. This guy's got a, a blunt mace that you get in the tutorial. I'm not very impressed. Is there a chest under here? No, there is not. I am outraged. Okay, let's let's go to the back of this cave, guys. What is this rock? Did you guys What's going on here? What do you What do I want? This guy's so angry. What do you want? Mortal. Shut up. Leave I really want to kill peace. this guy. Okay, so it it says I need to go this way, but there's a giant rock. Oh. The boulder is jammed in place and it won't budge. I'm, I think the bolt is possessed. Stop! Don't let Anaxes out. Sh shut up, you yeah. pussy! Right, let's open the other one. No, get away from there! If I can just... Oh, I freed him, Anaxes, from the cave where he was trapped. I should return and see if he'll give me the bands of the chosen. So I've actually kind of helped the Daedra. I've just realised that. I'm quite stupid, aren't I? Oh, hello, bro. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Look how fucking big he is. Whoa. Whoa, get out of my way. Look at the size of his hands. Some big-ass claws, isn't he? Oh, get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked. He's so slow, he can't even hit him. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What a savage. He didn't care. Oh, my God. I can... Oh, look at that blood. I can hear him. Where is he going? Let's follow him back. I'm still going to kill him and the other guy. Don't worry, guys. They're going to get wrecked. Where is he going? He's got plans wherever he's going. He's like going somewhere with purpose. Look at, look at how he runs, man. It's hilarious. They've got these, um, these guys, these enemies in the Elder Scrolls Online. They look so much better and the animations are really cool. But um, yeah, he's just uh, not up to par the old Oblivion standards. Where is he going? Oh, is he actually killing the Daedra? What? Oh, man, he just wrecked another guy. This guy's pissed. No wonder it took them so long to trap them. Man, I just, I literally just ruined it for everyone, didn't I? Oh, shit. What? What the fuck? No, stop it. Get away from me. You, you picked a, a wrong fight there, sir. <laughs> I did free him. 
and then he attacked me, okay? We all saw it. Definitely wasn't my fault. A Daedra heart. I'm going to eat this. In front of that, that guy who wanted me to save him. How would you like that? Oh my god, this fire Atronach is literally harder to kill than um, the other guy. My blade skill has increased. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, sir. Scamp skin. No, thank you. Right then. I'm going to save the game here again. I guess like he would have been like my friend if I didn't kill him, but um, I don't care. That was hilarious. Where's he gone anyway? He's probably like standing on the other side of this bridge, isn't he? Like cowering in fear because I just slapped that guy around the face. Where is, is he actually in here? I'm really confused. I swear he's meant to be standing here. Like on this bridge. I'm not allowed in here because this is the Forbidden Grotto. Okay, apparently I can go in here. So he must be inside here somewhere. Hmm. You cannot deceive me. <laughs> Anaxes has fallen. Now I must restore no. order to the garden myself. And this angers me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, bro. Oh, God. He is not happy. Man, these these shirtless people are having a hard time, aren't they? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Why are you, like, bum... Stop bumming me, man. Get away from me. Whoa, okay. He's got an enchanted sword. Oh, God. Nope. Get out of here. He's flying. Levitation spells. OP. Come on, then, bro. Fight me. Get wrecked. I want your enchanted Daedric sword, mate. Purging flame. How appropriate. And the bands of the chosen. Oh, weakness to fire. 50% on stealth. Excuse me. That's uh, pretty damn inconvenient. I have the bands of the chosen. Okay. I should go to the Forbidden Grotto now. Potion of strength as well. That's going to come in handy for when we... How little you understand. Fucking on fire, you mate. Stop, Get wrecked. The principalities have sparkled with gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala, and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Ooh. Well... That's a lot of... He just dropped a law bomb on our asses just there, guys. Let's kill this scamp. Yes, you understand now. Okay, do I? <laughs> Amriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion. Long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. It's merely a matter of perspective. Ask How is it that okay, I've got to put on this um, this ting. My bands of the chosen with a 50% weakness to fire. That is not what I want in my life right now. Okay, right, right. Oh my god, my armor breaks every single episode. Why am I wearing this crappy armor? <sighs> Don't like this one bit. Uh, gauntlets, still gauntlets. Seven. Oh, right, okay. I can't actually put them back on because I'm wearing the... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, one sec, guys. Let's have a look at this. Purging Flame does nine damage. And that's pretty good because my, my actual one-handed sword does seven damage and it's only got 60 left. So I think I'll save this for the later fights to come, the boss fight, and we can just absolutely wreck... Mankar Cameron. The mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand We're allowed to go inside. I am trying to listen to his dialogue. It's quite interesting. I have entered the forbidden I've entered the Forbidden Grotto. Now to find my way through the Terrace of Dawn, where I hope to find Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of the Kings. It'd be jokes if he didn't have it. <laughs> Could you imagine? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. 
They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. Hello? Are the true gods of this universe. Take that! Mate, get wrecked. Oh my goodness, me. This guy's just chatting about all the Daedric gods and I got slightly distracted. Come on then, throw, throw a fight. What is he doing? Stop summoning your... Get in that lava. Get wrecked. Hey, he's stuck. Get, get down there. Goodbye, Mr. Scamp. Oh, get wrecked. Look at that guy sitting in the lava. He's immortal, so that's like a torture mechanism. He's not going to ever die. He's just swimming in the lava. Right, okay. Let me have a look in this chest. I can hear someone fight it. Oh, it's this guy. Listen to that. Your false gods could not you can hear him, like, screaming. We can save him. Don't worry, bro. I've got your back. Oh, God. I've just put the woman in the fire. Man, I'm going to get so many sexual accu accusations now. That wasn't very nice of me. Okay, apparently he doesn't even this care. He's just standing there the like, the I've just For been in lava, but no worries, bro. You, you wear the bands, oh. but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, my business is my own. Stand aside. I'm here to kill Mankar Cameron. You know what? We've killed everyone else here. I'm just going to be damn straight. Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Yes. Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Do I? Who are you? Oh, yeah, okay. I can actually ask him who he is. I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. Damn you. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. This guy's a wanker. <laughs> we were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. Why would you help me? I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. Twist of gold. Thank you very much for that donation, man. $50 now. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. It's 150 No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open. And there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dramora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Do we trust him? Hmm. Under Siege, thank you for the $20 donation. Did you get the new animations up and running? I am working with Streamlabs still on those animations. I've not told them exactly what I wanted, but um, I'm gonna. I'm talking to people on Discord about it, getting some more ideas. I don't want to just rush into it. I want to like do some really cool stuff. So if you've got any interesting ideas, go ahead and drop by on my Discord and let me know what you guys want to see. Like basically, they're making three-second gifts for me, and they're making multiple sort of gifts. I've explained it on Discord, so go there and check it out. I will play along. Or we can just reject him. I don't know. I think we should, like, pretend to be a prisoner. But, I mean, considering this guy opened the portal at Kavach, I don't know how much we trust him. YOLO. Good. Follow me, 
And don't worry. You can trust me. Oh god. I don't know. Maybe. I can just hear people screaming. I should put my sword away. Cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. Shut up with the propaganda. Please. This guy looks pretty angry. Who's this? A prisoner sent in by Show me some respect, worm. Unless you want to end up in the cages with them. Yes, Kinreeve, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathotet for questioning. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escapes your vigilance, Kinreeve. <laughs> Cathotet wondered as well. This is why he sent him for questioning. He knows. Well, He's on to us. Carry on. Of course, Kinry. Prisoner, into the cage now. Now I'm having second thoughts. Not now. Just do as I say until the Dramora leave. Please. Hey, bro. You are not to speak to me, worm. <laughs> this is like the funniest dialogue ever. You are not to speak to me, worm. Get out. Look at his pixel face. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting in the cage. This is not gonna end well. I've got like... Oh, shit. Oh, God, no. Okay. Oh, my God. We are so gonna get wrecked right now. We've got like minus 50% to fire. Jesus Christ. I. Okay, we're good. Ah, I see, right. Oh, okay. We didn't actually go in. I could trust him. Get dunked. <laughs> There's no way for me to cross, but the master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. Okay, so he's going to basically be a human punching bag for me while I can go further into the caves where I may be able to move the bands of the Chosen from my wrists. I should continue searching for a way through these caves to Mankar Cameron's palace. Let me out the- oh sh shit. I literally thought I fell out of the back. I, I almost shout myself. I thought I was going into the lava. We should save that other guy, though. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Oh, that's his health going down. Oh, he just got wrecked. I really want to kill that guy. I really want to kill him. Do I have my bow? Steel arrows. Bow of numbing. Right, let's, let's save here, because I don't know if I can actually kill him. Right, you ready, boys? Oblivion Archery. Look how bad this is. Oh my god. I'm going to have to aim a lot higher. Oh, it went just above his head. What were those leak dodging skills? Did anyone else see that? How do I undraw my bow? I don't think you can even do that on Oblivion. Just pick that back up. <laughs> oh shit. Hi. Frost damage for the win. Oh, it does no damage. I feel like I've got a pea shooter here. Compared to Skyrim, the bow mechanics in Oblivion suck. I remember trying to like play an archer back when I like was playing Oblivion because I love I've always loved the idea of playing an archer, right? But in Oblivion, it's so oh my god, my marksman skill is increased. In Oblivion, it's so punishing. Get wrecked, mate. Oh, denied. I don't know why she was running at me. She probably ran out of magicka. Okay, this is have we been in this room? That guy wasn't there before. Oh, so let me have a quick look on the local map here, guys. Because, aha, we haven't been in this section. So let's explore this area quickly. I'm going to put this bow away. Do you guys want me to use the bow? Right, what do you reckon? I'm going to get my sword. No, no, let's use the bow. This is jokes. I'm going to, like, save this guy from his misery. Oh, what? No. Haha, <laughs> he can't be saved. I wonder if I could actually... Oh, God. Hello. Get away from me, you silly peasant. Look at these dodging skills, brah. Oh, God. Get wrecked. That armor spell is not going to help you at all, sir. Steel arrows. I'll take those back. Poison. Potion of cure poison. Right. Everything... Okay, so this is the way out of the grotto, I think. Don't know. <laughs> Not sure. 
Oh, can you go sneak attack? Sneaky! Dare attack me? Dare attack me? Oh, I forgot about that sick little... Get wrecked, mate. Was this guy help me? I actually don't know. I don't know. I'm going to quickly load that autosave just to check. Oh, I don't have an autosave. Oh, well, never mind. Pretty sure I saw him die, so who cares? I'm going to get my sword back out because this is making me cringe. So Spankathon sword is back in action, guys. Don't worry. Okay, there's a giant pit of lava down here. So this is definitely where I'm meant to be going. I mean, where does this... There's definitely going to be something at the bottom of this, isn't there? Like, come on. Can you not swim? Oh, you can't swim under it. I thought, like, you could swim under it and there'd be, like, some kind of secret chest hidden in there. I don't know. That would have been a cool place to hide a chest, right? There's actually one in um, Skyrim. There's, like, a giant pool of lava at the end of this quest. And um, once you reach the end... Oh, God. I'm going to have to get behind a wall here so I can take care of this guy. Get wrecked. Come at me, bro. You stupid lizard. I hate these things in ESO as well. They have like this great area of effect spell. That just um, absolutely rapes you. When there's like a few of them next to you. These guys do so much physical damage. It's unreal. Get wrecked. Get away from me, you silly frost at I mean, fire atronach. Why do I keep calling it a frost atronach? There's something wrong with me. Hello there. All the mandem are showing up. Oh, okay. He's attacking him. What's going on here? Oh, this is my friend, isn't it? You made it. Oh. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Yay. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. Sure, I've just seen you get instantly gibbed by that Daedra, but I'm sure you'll be of some kind of help. Or at least let this guy redeem himself, right? I mean, he did destroy Kavach, after all. We'll give him another chance. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. I've got my boy picking up people from Mankar well Cameron's done, lair. Champion. Oh, hello. The progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. Yeah, you, you guys are I'm right. The Ethereum Forge at, at the end of Lost Legends quest. Mind. I think it's I called Lost the Legends. Footsteps. There's a giant lava pit where you um, defeat the giant... Ah, 7% fire shield. Oh, actually, this is better. Reflect damage 8% on self. Um, okay. And there's a giant, like, lava pit. And at the end, right at the back, you actually find a boss chest hidden there. Which is a pretty awesome place to hide a boss chest, if I don't say so myself. Come at me then, boy. You are the last defender of decadent Oh goodness me. I don't see my um my mythic dawn follower actually helping me at all here. I feel like he's actually hiding behind me. Where is he? Like, where is he? I can't see him. I've been abandoned. I tire of the self-styled heroes. Ow. No, I'm gonna fall in the fucking lava. Get away from me. I hate this combat system. Stop it. At least when you're playing a sneaky character in Oblivion, it's just funny. When you're playing a close combat guy, it's not as good because... Mate, where were you? Let's put an end to Shut up. You were meant to be helping me, man. Okay, I think I've got everything in this room. Just want to check behind this, this rock here. Looks a little bit suspicious. You should use your two-handed weapon build or your archer assassin build. I mean, it's Oblivion, so the build doesn't work in the exact same way. But I see what you're saying. I should not be playing a sword and shield guy, is what you're saying. I get the hint. When your meat shield runs away. That's so true, Swagmaster. Where's my meat shield at? Let's quickly save the game in it. Is this modded? No, I'm playing 100% vanilla. Oblivion. I think if we go back and do the other quests, then I will mod the graphics a bit. At least, like, you know, improve some of the face textures on the Dremora, because they look terrible 
Oh my god, they look so bad. I mean, this game was like 2006, right? So I actually remember this being right near the exit. So I'm pretty sure we're close. Then we go back into paradise. And we can find Mankar's palace. Let's get out of this hellhole, man. I hate it in here. Okay. Got a feeling there are going to be a few enemies around this corner. Oh, oh no, it act actually is. Oh god, hi. Do your, worst. Do your worst, he's going to literally cave your skull in. Oh my god, he has a fire sword as well. I want this, thank you. Claymore of Burning. So he had a two-handed sword and he was... <gasps> Weak Poison of Silence, this is going to be so good for the final boss battle. We're going to literally... Like, he won't be able to cast any spells on us. I don't know if you can cast spells with a staff if you're silenced. I assume you can, because that would just make sense. But, um... I don't need some of this... Might as well just drink some of this stuff, to be honest. Because, like, come on. Just to get under the weight, then it. Drank all my potions. Weak potion of grounding. Insight. Why do I have this? You cannot drink any more potions, otherwise you'll be sick. Unless you tab out and then it doesn't care anymore. Um, okay, I might as well just drop one of these weapons because, I mean, to be honest. Silver short sword. Why? I thought I sold this. Did I not? Goodbye. Oh, 31. You would do that, wouldn't you? Let's drink some more potions. Potion of dispel. No. Shock shield. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to eat all these hearts because I'm an absolute savage. So, there you go, guys. ESO, your Let's Play got me into Skyrim. Ah, oh, I'm so glad that it did, man. That makes me so happy to hear comments like that. Okay, right. Let's quickly look at if these still graves are better. Oh, of course they're going to be better because, like, these ones are screwed. So, let's quickly get changed in the middle of this place what happened to my other great my other gauntlets oh well at least i have some form of armor now potion of sorcery okay we're almost at cameron's palace but guys i mean this is the main boss battle of the game but stuff kicks off after this boss battle after you've done it you think oh yeah i saved the day i've got the amulet of kings but nope things get much worse after that as you guys are about to find out I kind of want to kill some more of those, like, garden slaves. I mean, the Savage Gardens. What a great name. I mean, who came up with that? That's great. It's like it was meant to be. Oh my god, is this meant to be, um... Dagon? Oh, it is, yes. The Daedric Prince Dagon. This is actually a statue of him just here, guys. Hello there. Oh, crotch shot. I can't actually see him very well from this angle. I'm going to have to, like... Come down here and get a better... Oh, what the fuck? Hey! You can't do that. Okay, do you know what? That's that's vexed me. I didn't know that even happened. Teleports me back to where I'm meant to be. Call this an RPG. Who do you think you are? Teleports me back like that. I will show you. Okay, let's actually have a look at this. Because this is cool. The Daedric Prince Dagon. Oh my god, I didn't know he had a gauntlet with three, like, slash knife things on it. I don't know what you call them. A s what would you call it? A claw. A claw. Thank you. Giant two-handed axe and a claw. And then this one just punches people in the face. He's just such a savage. And he's just got a casual loincloth to hide the absolute nothingness beneath. Ha! Look at this view, though. I mean... Bro. Oh, okay. You can actually see where we went. We crossed that bridge and then we crossed that bridge down there between the trees. And then we've worked our way up this whole mountain to get to the palace, which is right next to us now. Right. I just wanted to have a little look at that, guys. I don't know. I, I already am using my archer build in um, Skyrim Remastered. I just forget to use my shouts. Okay, so before we go into this palace guys there's a very interesting thing that i want to tell you guys a 
I've actually made a video on it already. Um, it's basically because you come in here, and if you look, Mankar Cameron is wearing the Amulet of the Kings. Now, if you remember at the start of the game, you if you tried to put on the Amulet of the Kings, you can't actually put it on. Because it says, like, the amulet slipped off because you're not... You don't possess the dragon blood that the the Tiber set the the Tiber Dynasty does because you you didn't if you know the backstory of um, the Septums they um, there was what was it, her name Alyssa the first um, dragonborn you could say was given the amulet of the kings by the dragons uh, by Akatosh in fact and then she had the amulet it was passed down through the ages. So the idea is, is that you can't actually put on the amulet unless you're related to that same bloodline. Or, you. so they have dragon blood, effectively, is what it means. But then you've got uh, Mankar, who isn't related to them, doesn't have dragon blood, in theory, but can wear the amulet of the king. So he must have dragon blood, right? Because we can't wear it. No one else can wear it. So there is a theory that I actually made a whole video about, and I'll link it in the description after this video, that Mankar Cameron could actually potentially be a dragonborn so it's pretty cool people only clocked onto it when skyrim came out and we got all the lore about the dragonborns but i just thought i'd share that with you before we go in here because it's like kind of like a mystery no one knows why he can really wear it that's the only sort of theory that justifies why you did not expect to see me again did you who the fuck are you you have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command who's this you think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. Kay? Who is she? I don't remember you. Why do you delay? Do you fear to face Mankar Cameron himself? As well you should. No. Come, my father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. God damn it, where are you from? I don't actually remember. She doesn't like me though, does she? Who's this guy? So, here you are at last. Yes. The lackey of the Septim Pretender. You still think you have a chance, don't you? My face is a potato. I knew you would find your way here eventually, but it is of no consequence. You should not keep my father waiting any longer. He expected you hours ago. Come, you came here to see him, did you not? Oh, look how angry I am. His face actually does look like a potato. I have nothing else to say to you. But my father was Stupid to... racist high elf, get out of here. Let's put an end to mankind. That's all you say now, isn't it? I hope you survive past this battle. Look how angry he is. He's so angry. Look at him. I am very angry for no reason. Ah! So we're gonna drink a bunch of potions before we go in here. Actually, do you know what I wanna do? Let's turn up the difficulty because I feel like it's too easy. Return, return, great. The boss battle should be a bit harder now. Okay. So, what I was thinking... Someone asked me in the chat, where can you get the Kingdom Come Deliverance beer? It's made by a brewery in the Czech Republic. And the way the beer is made is that they make, like, a massive batch, like a thousand bottles. And then it actually goes out of date because it's not, like, a shelf beer. So, um, I think you could be able to buy it maybe when the game's released. I'll have a word with Toby... Add me on Twitter and ask me again, and I'll reply and let you know to answer your question. Okay, right. Let's go inside. Get out of my way, you rookie. Okay, we're following you inside. Nah, mate. I'm going to overtake you because I'm a boss. What is this door for hobbits? What is this? I don't fit under here, you stupid high elf. I mean, why would a high elf, the tallest race in Skyrim, make a door? How why am I so short? Wait. I don't remember making my character this short. How strange. I guess they are high elves, so that would probably be my mistake there. I can't be that tall. Because I'm a dark elf. Right, look at this, man. I remember struggling so hard as a kid with this boss fight. Because I was accidentally completing the game on the hardest difficulty, not realising. We're going to have a chat with him before we, like, potion up. I have waited a long time for you champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathed the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling 
The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoin, the mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me, in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. Mate, you're sitting down for this fight? I thought we were going to, like, batter each other and this man's sitting down. Like, come on. I found Mamclaw Cameron in his palace. Of words I cannot pronounce. Now I must kill him and take the Amulet of the Kings back to Tamriel. Every single quest dialogue is like, get the fucking Amulet back. Okay, right. We good? We good? Okay, things are happening. Let's quickly get a potion out... Right, let's stack some potions, guys. Are you ready? What do I need? Shock shield. I think they do cast shock spells from my childhood memories. I know this. Uh, light. No. Actually, we're going to need this potion because we're going to need to pick up everything after we kill Mankar. Because then we get transported out of Oblivion. Because he's meant to be holding the realm together, basically. I don't know if these potions stack, but I'm going to leave this one for later, for now. Might as well take this for good measure, and this one. Weak potion of feather. No, we'll leave that for later. Fortify, fatigue. Yeah, I'll take that. Detect life, you know, because maybe I'm blind. I think we'll be fine there. I'll leave the potion of silence for now. Potion of strength. Yeah, let's actually bat the crap out of them. Oh, you can't take any more potions. Just press tab, and then you can. Oh, no, you can't. What's up? Apparently, I'm not allowed any more potions. I've reached my limit. Right, let us use the Purging Flame. So we're going to absolutely wreck this guy. I'm so excited just to slap this guy around the face right now, man. Right, let's go. Get wrecked. Oh, you're, you're quite tanky. I hope there's more dialogue after we kill him. Oh, mate! Comes in with a dagger and fucking wrecks him. Just gets shanked. 7% shield. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. A flare. Well, <laughs> that's useless. Oh my god. No. No, he killed my, my bro. Get out of here. Okay, I should actually probably heal myself right here because otherwise I'm going to die. Potion of healing. Thank you. Hello. Hello. There we go. Get wrecked. Where's your armor, bitch? Put it back on. Get wrecked. She just keeps shouting about her father. Lesser shocked spell thing. Whatever. I'm over encumbered. Right, let's quickly drop other things I do not need. Um, This isn't going to be that useful. So let's drop that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Great. That mace was so heavy. Oh, Mandem is coming at me. Oh, okay. Take it then. Casting some mandem to help you, are you? Oh my god, look at that damage! <laughs> oh, what? That was actually quite painful. I should probably not fuck around right now, because he's casting... Days and weeks of constant use make you wearing heavy armor tolerable. But you are not comfortable. Okay, you're a journeyman of heavy armor. So, you take less damage in combat. Yeah, no one cares. Oh, fuck me now. Is this sword even still enchanted? I'm running out of... Oh, okay. Don't worry. You cannot drink any more skooma. Don't worry, guys. I'm... Oh, I'm high. I'm going to finish this game on skooma. Come on, Mankar Cameron. Oh, God. Quickly heal myself again. You cannot drink any more potions. Weak potion of silence? Yes. I need to hit the right person. Stop casting spells at me. You're literally useless right now. He could just run around and fuck all. Okay, I need to get another... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 
I was messing about with other potions too much. Uh, okay, okay. There's one thing we can do. Okay. He, no, he's killed me. I'm dead. Return. Let's try again, guys. I wanted it to be a bit hard. I want to see if we can save our, our bro this time. <clears throat> All right. I've got an idea. All right. Instead of actually listening to anything he says this time. Let's just run up to him and slap him around the face. I'm going to drop that because I don't need it. Oh, we could paralyze them all. That would be hilarious. Let's do that. That's going to be so funny. Oh, my God. I'm actually excited now. I'm going to drop this bow because let's be honest, guys. The archery in Oblivion is really bad. Right. I'm going to drop this. I don't want to use the potion of grounding. Actually, let's keep that for now. Um, I want to use some skooma. Um, yeah. Do you know what? Let's use some skooma because why not? Right. Come on. Get right next to him. Do you want to stand next to him? I want to paralyze you all and literally just wreck you all. I need to make sure I don't stand too close though because otherwise I'll paralyze myself. I've waited a long time for you. I've waited Champion for you too, old. sir. Get wrecked. <laughs> Okay, okay, quickly, let's get our other weapon out before this hits. Now I can get it out. Now let's get the strong potion. I need a potion of strength. Where is it? The potion management in this game is so bad. Come on, ESO. There we go, here we go. Did it? What? He's immune to paralyzation. He actually is, isn't he? Oh my god, now I'm taking on like three of them at the same time. God damn it, Cameron. Uh, right, potion of... I need to poison my blade and I need to heal myself. Poison blade, yeah. Okay. Let's silence him. Oh god, oh god. He's so tanky. Come here, Cameron. Another health potion, please. Oh, get wrecked. Oh my god, you just killed your dad. You literally just killed your dad. Amulet of the Kings. Right, before we pick that up. Cameron's robes. Spell absorption, 10 points and stuff. Can't believe he was just like, no father, I will take this one. And just like two-handed sword to his dad's back. Like, wow, you savage. Reflect spell damage. I love it. I love it. Someone keeps messaging me. Amulets of the Kings. We won't take this right now. I want to grab everything else before we leave. Oh god, everything's falling down. We need to fucking hurry up. If I die now from getting hit by a rock on my head, I'm going to be pretty mad. Oh god, please don't hit me. Amulet of the Kings. What's this? Cameron Staff. Let me quickly read what this does. Shock damage 7 points on target. Disintegrates armor 10 points on target. That is the cancerous weapon. I hate things that disintegrate armor. They're just really annoying. Get out of here. Okay, we're good. We did it. I killed Mankar Cameron. But it's not over yet, guys. This is not the end. Things only get worse from here. I killed Cameron. Upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me. I mean, yeah, it pretty much did. And I found myself back in Cloudwater Temple with the Amulet of Kings in my hat. I must give the amulet to Martin. <laughs> when you down all your skooma. Yeah, maybe I dropped some skooma on the ground and, like, he turned around and just killed his dad. I mean, it's a bit of a savage, isn't it? Sorry for not looking at the chat, man. It was an intense battle. I'm back, boys. Oh, look at this. The boys know how to respect, mate. You oh, shit. Back. Fucking jump Does scares. Mean uh, Cameron is dead. He's already got the robes on and everything. He's ready for his parade. He probably got dressed while I was away. Man's got faith in me. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Here the Amulet belongs to you. Belongs to me? The Amulet of Kings? So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true... If the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. 
Only those of the Septim blood can wear the amulet of kings. Dragon blood. Put on the amulet, your majesty. Why is he still angry at me, man? I've literally just done all this work for him. God, this guy. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. Oh, just like whips it on like that. See, you are Uriel's son. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor, and quite another to actually be the emperor. You are the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Why meet Akato? Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Oh god, I thought he was taking his weapon out to attack me there. Look at- why is he still angry at me? Stop it, Martin, please. Someone just said it would be hilarious if you could run away at, with the Amulet of the Kings and sell it to Dagon. <laughs> You're like, mate, I'll trade this for um, a, another enchanted weapon. Why is he so angry? This really annoys me. He's meant to be happy with me. Stop it, Martin. Be my friend. Okay, right. So we need to go to the Imperial Palace. Do you know what? We haven't actually been there yet in this Let's Play. Have we? No, we haven't. Okay. We've got, like, the staff of everything. Like, all of my staffs. I'm kitted out. One thing I want to do before we go there is just sell some of my stuff. Let's go to the Mages Guild and sell some stuff. What's up? Um, did that lady just say what's up to me? Let's go to the Market District. The Market District had so much good stuff. Yes, so. Should I use your two-handed weapon build or your Archer Assassin build in Skyrim Remastered? Please help. I think... The... I personally, I just love using a bow. And using the Archer Assassin build is so much fun. But the two-handed build is like, that's like my favorite way to play a two-handed character. Because you can heal yourself at the same time as well. When will the Vampire Lord Part 2 come? Okay, Martin, I understand that you're angry now because you're standing in the rain. I think hopefully over the next month. Oh, one sec, he's, he's not angry. Let's continue on to the Elder Council Chambers. Delay is dangerous. Okay. I need to speak with you. Of course. Tell me about Daedric magic. As a young man, I grew impatient. Okay. We, well, he's a bit random. Oh, that's how he knows about the Daedric magic. Man, I, we threw ourselves into the riddles of Daedric magic. We hungered for forbidden secrets. Knowledge and power were our gods. You can guess the rest. We got in over our heads. People died. My friends died. I've put those days behind me. But the bitter wisdom that one has been a fool is not without value. ESO, have you played Prey? I've done a whole Let's Play of Prey on my channel. Please, go and watch it. Oblivion Gate. Against all hope, you returned from Cameron's Paradise with the Amulet of Kings. We now have a chance to turn back Dagon's invasion. Yay! I must go to the Temple of the One and perform the ceremony to relight the dragon fires. But we must hurry. The barriers between our world and oblivion weaken with every gate that is opened. Indeed. If Mehrun's Dagon is able to cross over into our world, even relighting the dragon fires will not be able to send him back. Okay. Oh, he's still angry. Look at him. Rah. I thought Let's he was okay, but on apparently not. Apparently he's going to finish this game mad at me. That giant golden white tower there. I actually did a massive video on the Elder Scroll. Hello? Oh, he's following me. Come on, Emperor. Follow me. We're going this way, Emperor. Come on. Why is this lady standing here? Hello? Hello? Why are you standing here? She looks a little bit suicidal. Okay, let's leave her alone, Martin. 
Let's go to the white gold tower. Oh, actually, I was meant to go and sell stuff, wasn't I? What am I doing? Let's quickly go back. Jordan, that's quite an inappropriate question. Lydia. I miss Lydia too, man. We need to go back to Skyrim so I can play with her again. Oh, this man sells some staffs. He will want to buy my wide selection of staffs. Hello. Oh my god, I didn't realize they had hobbits in this game. You're in ri Oh, one sec. This guy is fun. Listen to this. A pleasure to speak. Oh, no, no. You didn't say it that time. Fe You're in Rindir's staffs. Rindir's staffs. What can I interest you in? Oh, staff of telekinesis is hilarious. I love it. Oh, one sec. He sells, sells the staff of paralysis as well. Okay, one sec. I want to sell you some stuff, mate. I've got some sick stuff to sell you. Uh, yes, I do, actually. Mankar's staff, only worth 263 gold. To be honest, I'm going to sell it. It's crap. I don't need that. Apart from the fact it's unique and I won't be able to get it back now, don't need it. Sell one of these, because... Actually, we'll sell both of these, because I've got a better ring on at the moment. And we're going to sell all this stuff, too. I'm going to get so filthy rich. One thing I forgot to do was haggle, but never mind. Uh, Cameron Staff reflects spell damage. I feel like I should keep this because it basically gives you 17% resistance to magic. To be honest, it's actually better than Kavat's Curus, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't get destroyed after being hit twice with a weapon, so I'm going to keep that. Right. Come back. Come back and see me again. Let me just quickly have a look how much gold I have. 2,700. Still not enough to get this unique item that I wanted to buy. Take care. I'm going to quickly run over to the sword shop and sell some stuff and then see if we can get a better sword. Play the Dragonborn DLC when you play Skyrim again. I want to do all the guilds. I want to play the DLC, man. I got big plans. The best defense. My favorite shop to buy armor. I could show you guys the um, the ma the, the mess up around. with the dialogue. I can't remember which shop right it is though that has it. Oh my god, are you kidding? Fur armor? Kill me now. Alright, I want to sell you this. No, one sec. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sell this for 83 gold. Right. I want to repair broken, my stuff. I... Don't forget to repair it, ESO. Legion boots, Legion helmet, steel helmet. That guy is indeed very short, isn't he? I mean, seriously. Farewell. Stand on a box or something so you don't look like such a fool. Have a look at my wares. Oh, Aegis sure of the Apocalypse for 12,000 gold. That's quite expensive, sir. I don't think I'll be buying that from you. Why is he angry? He looks got a slight sad face there. Everyone just seems to be mad. At okay. The Emperor is coming shopping with me. Right, let's actually go to the White Gold Tower and finish this off now, guys. Hello. How goes it? How okay. goes it? Yeah. I am an Argonian. You can fix it with console commands. Or with mods, actually. Skyrim ESO, read my comment, please. Well, I read that comment, but I assume that wasn't your original comment. Exactly. Screw the Creation Club, guys. I mean, come on. I wouldn't be surprised if Bethesda remastered... Actually, if they remastered Oblivion, I'd be very happy. But they won't, because they've already got someone doing that. Oh, well, it's not... It's like a fan-made project called Sky Oblivion, if you didn't know. Run by my friend Kyle, who's um, a very dedicated guy to the cause. So if you guys are interested in checking out Oblivion in the Skyrim engine, should be out maybe 2018, hopefully early 2018. I'll definitely be streaming it when it comes out, don't worry. ESO, I am in love with Cameron. Okay. Look at this armor. All visitors to the Imperial Palace. After we finish the game, which is very soon, by the way, we will get the Imperial Dragon armor, Sucker which is like is black and gold version of this. It looks insane. It looks love it. Okay. Is where's the Emperor gone? Bro, where are you at? The wooden door. Oh, okay. That was kind of weird oh look it's the empire sigil i want to show you guys this hidden details with eso so this sigil here which represents the empire which we also see on the front cover of skyrim if you know why why martin look martin just fucking hates me man god's sake 
you see this on the front cover of Skyrim, right? But if you look at it again, you'll see that this bit at the bottom is kind of like broken off, which kind of represents the rebellion in Skyrim and the Empire crumbling at this sort of period of history. So it's a very interesting little hint at what was to come before you played the game. But obviously not many people noticed that. Uh, we have arrived at the Elder Council's chamber. I must formally present Martin's claim to Chancellor Orkato, the head of the Elder Council. Imagine if he was just like, nah mate, like April Fools, this is ridiculous. I don't believe you. I mean, it sounds like a bit of a lavish Real story, balance. doesn't it? I've been Whoa! You. The full council has already considered the matter Calm of down. Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Okay. Martin Septon, Jesus Christ. On behalf of the Elder Council, I accept your Chancellor claim to the Imperial throne. Chancellor we should arrange the Chancellor O'Connor. Shut up. The city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. To the Temple! Uh, the Temple of the One is a temple of Akatosh, by the way. Where the bloodline started with Alyssa, as I said earlier. The, imp the Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city and Daedra are pouring out. Masters, we must escort Martin to safety to the Temple of the One where he can light the dragon fires and close the oblivion gates and save the city. Like we didn't do all the work for you, Martin. Okay, look, he's got a staff out. Oh shit, mate, we're getting fucking attacked. Get out of here. Oh goodness me, I don't want to accidentally hit one of these guards because they'll probably charge me with a thousand gold again for saving the empire. But hey, Daedra Longsword. Ooh, this is actually quite good. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, look at that, man. He's doing, like, backwards 360 no-scopes with those lightning spells there. I'm going to have a lot of dangerous swords by the end of this video. Oh, well, crap, I'm already over-encumbered. Damn it. It's only worth 100 gold. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding me? Fine, I'll drop one. Fine. Have it your way. Come on, Martin, let's go. Who's this guy? Who's this? Why are you coming back inside? <laughs> going the wrong way oh my god doom and gloom everything's gone wrong look at the mandem oh my goodness me i'm getting attacked from behind get wrecked oh sorry i just hit a guard <gasps> blade one-handed drain blade drain blunt so basically it just makes you forget how to fight i love it look at all these scamps protect the emperor the Emperor's, like, flailing a dagger at this scamp. I feel like there's no hope for the Empire at this rate. Oh my god, that guy just shot an arrow into the Empire's back. You... Protect the Emperor! And I'll kill you. Get out of here. No one attacks the Emperor. <laughs> Murder! I mean, I would be a bit more concerned about all the danger at this point. Imperial Watch Shield... An awesomely cool shield that I think is actually better than my current one. Unless my current one is enchanted. It is. Four. Okay, eight resistance versus eight. Oh, okay. This this shield just looks really cool. But I'm not going to use it because obviously this is better. Where's this guy going? <laughs> I think he's a bit lost. I don't know why the uh, Emperor has an iron dagger. I mean, Martin... <laughs> Come on, man. Do you, like, pick that up from the kitchen or something? Ooh, one second. OBS just disconnected. Let's see if it's going back. Are you guys still watching? I think the stream went down for, like, a second. It says it's still streaming now. Sorry, one mo. OBS went down for like a moment. I have no idea why. That's never happened before. Let me just check on YouTube if it's up again. Just to make sure. Because there's like a 30 second delay. So usually there's not a problem. 
I don't know if it still uploaded that other part of the video. Hopefully there's not a gap. The only thing you guys missed was me killing a bunch of Daedra and also murdering an Imperial Guard who accidentally shot an arrow at the Emperor. But it seems like everything's working again. I'm just checking with this chat though. Can you guys see it again? Is it okay? Are we all good? The page isn't actually loading for me, so... Okay, now it is. Great. Okay, great, great. It's all back. It's all back. We're good. We can carry on playing. Let's get that back up. Get that back up. Jane, thank you very much for the $10 donation. I don't know if that was like... Oh, four minutes ago, so sorry for just missing that. Love your content. I lurk quite a bit. I lurk quite a bit, and I want to help you out. Thank you very much, Jane. I appreciate that. Right, guys, let's carry on saving the world. Oh my god, look at the size of this Oblivion game. Look at this boy. He is a lot bigger than usual, isn't he? Oh god, I am so sorry. Imperial Messenger. Sir, please, GTFO. Oh my goodness. I'm actually getting, like, pumped here, right? Like, I'm glad I have quite a few healing potions. Strong potion of healing does more healing than this potion. Oh, okay, that's fortify health. I see. Get wrecked, mate. Oh, did I just kill someone else? Oh my god, he's flying! Look out, Emperor! A flying Daedra. Okay, man. We are stemming the Oblivion Tide. Look at this guy came straight out of that portal, making a beeline right right for me. He just wanted to screw me up here. Get wrecked! Oh my goodness me. Flashing lights everywhere. I need to stop doing that. How tanky are you? Okay, the scamps are also attacking him. This is kind of helpful. Oh, sorry, Emperor. Didn't see you there, mate. Damage. Oh, Ruby. Why are you carrying a Ruby? Do we have to kill all of these guys? Oh, goodness. Everyone's dying. Chancellor Okoto. Oh, I thought that was him. I was like, mate, he is definitely more than unconscious right now. I think we have bigger problems. People need to stop running in front of me. I think I've almost killed the Emperor. Oh my goodness me, I'm getting gang raped. I'm gonna go kill some scamps. At least I can- Oh my god, I'm getting literally like- Please leave me alone, Daedra. My goodness me. Oh, there's actually like the whole- Come on, Chancellor Okoto. Get in there and start killing stuff. Get wrecked, mate. How many Daedra do you want? Too many Daedra. Too many Daedra everywhere I look. Fucking Daedra. Yes, Emperor. Come on, Martin. I need your help here. You're invincible. Everyone else is dying around us. Do you know what? I need some skooma. Your intelligence has been damaged. I don't need that to kill Daedra. I just need, like, the strength of 10,000 men. Get wrecked. My god, I'm getting, like, staggered every day. Oh, come on. Come on, Martin. Finish him off with your iron dagger. Chancellor Okato is unconscious for the fifth time. Weak po poison of repulsion. Drain personality, five points for 15 seconds. Wow. That's really going to help us out versus... Oh my god, what the fuck? What just happened? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm being hugged by a Daedra. I'm getting low on potions to heal myself here. I'm being, like, groomed by these... Scamps. I feel like we should get out of there. There's like an unlimited stem of Daedra. This is definitely not what my objective is. I should go... Oh my god. Can you guys see the hands just here? This is Dagon. Dagon is here. The barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed. All hope is lost. Our only hope now is to somehow defeat Mehrun's Dagon and cast him back into Oblivion from whence he came. Perhaps Martin will know what to do. I don't think I can really have a conversation with Martin right now. I feel like I'm... Tonight, oh, Jesus. Mehrun's Dagon is here. Okay. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us... We're screwed. Oblivion are gone. We're all dead. 
Can we cast him back into oblivion? That's what the quest log told me to do. I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him, but now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. We are so screwed. What about the amulets of the kings? Look how angry he is about this situation. <laughs> He's not happy at all. The imperial city is screwed. Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. <laughs> but you said it was no use. <laughs> oh my god. Is it right? Sorry guys. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. Okay, I guess we just like stab him in the foot. Stub his toe. I could like run into his foot. I'll get you to the temple. Will I? I'm really unsure about this, Martin, but YOLO. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. Follow me. Wait here. Could you imagine? Like, wait here until Dagon destroys the city. I'm Is there a cutscene for if um, Dagon actually wins? Look at this guy here, just squaring up to me right now. Okay, let's make a new save, actually. I can't believe you just ran over here. We had, like, a, a one-minute conversation. And, you know, like, no one really batted an eyelid. It's like, hang on a second, Dagon. Oh, my God, he's angry. Look at how angry this guy is. Raw. I'm going to go kill Dagon, mate. I don't care. Actually, what ha Okay, I'll, I'm going to try something funny in a second. Hey, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see how much health that did? Look at this. Look at how much damage it does. Come on, Dagon. Fight me. Fight me, mate. You absolute wuss. Look how much damage he does. Oh my god, I'm actually killing him. Oh my god, heal me. Heal me quickly. Have some more skooma. What do you mean I can't drink any more skooma? I need this. I'm addicted. God damn it. Give me that skooma. Yes, my intelligence has been damaged. Don't worry. I've got this, bros. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Come at me, I dare you. Oh my god, he literally just chopped my head off. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working, Martin. I just want to see what happens if you do this. Oh my god. <laughs> we've actually... <laughs> oh my god, we've saved the game. Like, we've just... We've unintentionally... Can we search him? Some steel arrows. I wanted to- Oh my goodness me. What the fuck has happened here? Jesus Christ. What happens now if we- Oh my god, look at his head. <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny. Okay, right, let's reload and do it properly. I just want, like, apparently he is killable. If you can use console commands. That is so funny. Oh my, okay. Come on, Martin. Let's get into the temple. Where do we actually have to go? Temple quest. Oh my god. Don't kill me again, Dagon. In fact, actually, I killed you. He's not killed me yet. That was hilarious, man. I'm so glad we did that. Oh, one sec. The door's over here, Martin. Get inside, quick. I wonder what happens if we killed him, then went inside. Come on then, Martin. What are we going to do? Martin and I are inside the temple. I must get Martin to the dragon fires, or all hope is lost. Light the fire. Martin, what's that? You forgot to bring a match? Well, we're screwed then, aren't we? I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Okay. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. What the hell? Martin? Oh my goodness me! Oh my god! One sec. Don't worry, Martin. I've, I've got your back. <laughs> no problem, bro. One sec. Can I actually do this? 
I just want to see what happens before, and then we'll go back and watch the cutscene. We can't kill him. He's unkillable, Martin. Save us. Oh my god, Martin's turned into a fucking dragon. Oh my goodness, get wrecked. Literally, look at this, this is insane. Oh, just punches him in the chest, axe to the face, left hook. Now nah, he just, oh my god. Battle of the gods. The Daedric Prince doesn't stand a chance against Akatosh. This is insane. Oh my god, there are so many lighting effects. I kind of want to watch that again. Should we watch that again, guys? Let's watch that again. That was awesome. I feel like I missed the part where he turned into a dragon. Whee! He just flies into the sky and just becomes a dragon. Dagon, the Daedric Prince of Destruction, just, like, starts beating the crap out of him. He doesn't care. Like, punches him in the stomach, axe to the neck. Akatosh is like, shrugs it off like, now, nah, mate, take this. And just bites him in the neck. Man, that is savage. Go back to the Savage Gardens. Get schooled. Man, he, he really, his vape game is very strong. We could all use some uh, some tips from... What is he doing? He's like saying goodbye to me. He is pretty angry, man. Wow, okay. The amulet is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion. Forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. Sorry, man. Swagmaster. What if you were actually on Skooma the whole time and that was just a dream? <laughs> you, have so you said something funny last stream and I swear I read it out as well. But anyway, let's listen to what Okaso has to say. I think he spent the whole thing unconscious, so we'll probably have to uh, tell him actually what happened. What happened? Where's <laughs> Martin? I must congratulate him. Told you. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won. Martin is gone. What do you mean, gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes, he shattered the amulet. That thing we spent the last six hours stream live streaming trying to get, he shattered it. See, Martin hates us. He just wants to crush our soul. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. And Martin's blood, too. Then Martin is gone. He's a dragon. But the gates are sealed. He saved us all. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. What about the Empire? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an Emperor. Awkward. I don't know what happens now. <laughs> there are troubled times ahead for the Empire. That's very but true. now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive. This guy is a bit too happy. I kind of don't like it. Martin died. Be more upset. Champion of Cyrodiil. That's me. In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you 
champion of Cyrodiil. And as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Such cool armor set. I love this armor set. I wonder if they remade it in a mod for Skyrim. I don't know if they did. I'm going to have a look at that later. Champion of Cyrodiil. You have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights founded by Tiber Septim himself. The what now? It is a high honor. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. The Elder Council. We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest, I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the dragon throne, troubled times lie ahead. Imperial dragon armor. I think we have to wait two, wait two weeks and then we can get it. Imperial dragon armor is normally worn only by the emperor himself. But you deserve no less, champion. You know, the Imperial Dragon Armor isn't actually as good as the Emperor's Dragon Armor. I think it's got like 20 less armor rating. I don't know about the enchantments. Though. I can't remember the enchantments. I think it gives you like a resistance to fire, frost, and just spell damage by 10%. Maybe fire by 20%. Um, poison by like 10% as well. Each uh, piece of the armor has like an enchantment. So it's pretty damn good. It's one of the best armors in the game. Apart from Daedric, I think. I can't remember, man. Martin. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. I will rule the Empire. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamria. Could you imagine if they just knocked it down? Hail, champ Hail champion. I'm going to get used to Anytime, that, boys. Champion. Look at that. Ultimate. That looks really awkward from that angle. Let's, let's do our casual toggle free camera look at this dragon that's just appeared in the middle of the district it looks a lot cooler when you go outside oh my god i forgot that the imperial city got absolutely wrecked i do believe do believe it turns back to normal pretty quickly they rebuild it like that they're pretty impressive actually oh my god it's already completely rebuilt are you kidding oh no no there's a little bit of damage here okay yeah so Dagon was probably standing just here. <laughs> he actually was, wasn't he? And then I killed him with console commands. That was hilarious. Hi there. Hi there. The outlaw? The thought of what might have happened if you and Martin hadn't stopped Dagon's invasion. But it's over. Thank Akatai. Thank goodness we survived. Goodbye. Let's talk to this guard. Speak, citizen. I'm still a citizen. Are you kidding me? Move along. State your business. Oh my god, do you even know who I am? It was an honor How to speak. Dare you. <laughs> Thalmor agent inviting me to Portugal. <laughs> I love it, mate. Why is this guy walking around shirtless? Who's he? When I saw the fiery clouds and the daedra in the streets, I was sure we were all dead. But you saved us. I am a legend, I know. I thought I could give him... I thought he was a beggar. Bye. But apparently this guy's rich. He just likes to walk around shirtless. Cool. Okay, man. So, if you look at our quest log now, we have the final quest. Well, apart from all the other quests we haven't done, which is to pick up Imperial Dragon Armor. To actually, And it also gives us entrance into the Imperial Legion compound. Let's have a quick look on our map where that is. I think it's like uh, at the edge, like here. Imperial City Prison, is it? I think it is like here, where you pick it up. But anyway, guys, we have done the main quest now for Oblivion. Oh, look at that. I chose the perfect angle here. Can we see the two moons? No, we cannot right now. It was... Oh, bloody hell! I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. What the hell? Uh, who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Ross of Norvolo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. That story never ends. I'm 
pretty busy actually at the moment. I guess what do you actually want? Normally I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. It's all right. Thank you. Gillen always tends to Okay. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the oh, utmost. very important. You to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. Have you even been to the Cloud District? All, that's all he told me. Okay, right. Well, Thank can't you. believe you interrupted me for that, but I don't actually remember this quest. I feel like it's vampire related because of blood Agatha being in the quest himself. title, but there I think it is. might be to get a house. I'm the not even so sure. My god, this guy's like kicking off on the right there. <laughs> Loves Akatosh, doesn't he? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. I hope you enjoyed the main quest Oblivion Let's Play. I'm going to be streaming Skyrim as soon as I can when I set up some stuff. Hopefully, I'll get those custom animations sorted and we can all enjoy that. But I mean... Yeah, it, this was an awesome stream. Thank you so much all for tuning in and watching. If you could please like the video if you enjoyed it. Always helps me out as well. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks for the donations. You guys have been awesome as usual. I really do love streaming to you guys because you guys like the best. I've also got like some fun, long Let's Plays coming out in the future this week. I've also got a... I know, calm down, calm down. All right, don't... Is everyone like on Skooma? I'm genuinely not sure. But yeah, this was awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I am not Scottish, okay? The champion Ali, Syria. I'm not Scottish. I'm English. I live down south. Don't have a Scottish accent. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next stream. Hopefully next week at some point. And I'll keep trying to stream later so all of you can watch as well. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.